So honestly, um, his dad is supposed to get his hair cut. Um, if he does not, then I'm already in the works of getting his hair cut. He has very, very thick hair and it's hard to keep, you know, fresh or not getting tangled up. But twists are a good idea, but I think I'm gonna get his hair cut. So to answer this question right here, the answer is no. There are several reasons why. One, clear as day, he's in a happy, healthy relationship and I never, okay? Two, you never go back. Three, we have a really good co-parenting relationship and I just wanna keep it like that. So there you go, that's the answer to that question. So first of all, thank you for supporting me and I did not block you. If I did block you, it was most likely because you were probably being disrespectful or rude in the comments. Um, I really don't block people. I will just delete their comments, but yeah. So not so much daily vlogging, just putting vlogs up on a regular. Um, daily vlogging is challenging in itself, but maybe when I get my camera, I'll start back daily vlogging. But right now it's just posting on a regular, posting, trying to stay a little consistent, if that makes sense. So who said I haven't? But I mean, you're not here every day, so you wouldn't know, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Honestly, getting a nine to five as well is not ideal right now, especially since I have legend and childcare is a lot. Maybe um, I am looking to move, but I will not be telling YouTube when I where I move because people do the most to try and find where my house is. So to answer this question, I feel like it was a confusing transition, especially for the twins. Um, Ava was consistently asking, where was he at? Um, is he coming home from work yet? Amaya... Um, actually went through her phone and she had texted him and said where are you at i miss you when she had came back home so i think it's just confusing because there was no goodbye or anything like that so i think it was confusing i feel like i'm just taking it a day at a time some days are easy some days are not and honestly like that's just all i can do is just take it a day at a time um i feel like some days are good I can smile, and then you got the days that are like, oh my God, I'm doing all this stuff all over again by myself. Yes, um, more so the red flags came when I started noticing something was up. And that was towards the end of like November and December. I started recognizing little things. Um, he, of course, would say it's not that's not what it was, but I questioned it during that time because I started recognizing, you know a change, you know a shift whenever you're with somebody and you know their every move and how they feel and what they do. And when they start doing something just a tad bit different, you recognize that. I knew this question was coming. So y'all, it's been like what, five, maybe six or seven years. I don't know how long it's been since I was with him, but this is still fresh, so that's why I said that. Um, so I actually talked about this in my live stream. Um, so go back to my uh, YouTube page and you'll see my previous live stream. I talked about this situation, but um, yeah, I haven't, there was there's no contact. I mean, go back and watch the live stream. Emotionally, a little trained. I am just, I feel like I'm drained in everything that's going on. It's just draining. Um, so I just, I'm drained and I feel like I'm on autopilot. 
as a mom because I know my kids need me. So I'm on auto autopilot and I'm just going through it. So I really like this question. So I do want to travel. I do want to go on a vacation. I ain't gonna lie, I do want to get a passport and I just want to live. You know, I feel like I've been stuck for so long. Um, and I want to live, I do want to live. I feel like I've been, I've been taking care of everything, a household, kid, everything for so long. And I just want to breathe. Even if it's just for a weekend, even if it's for a day. Even if it's for a couple of hours, I want to live.